Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major ethnic groups in Guinea-Bissau and their peculiarities. Guinea-Bissau is a tiny country in the western part of Africa and has a population of about 1.8 million people. The country was colonized by the Portuguese and at the time it was simply known as Guinea. Bissau was added to the name of the country in 1974 to differentiate it from French Guinea. There are over 30 ethnic groups in Guinea-Bissau. Some of the major ethnic groups there are The Fulani The Fulani people are the single largest ethnic group in Guinea-Bissau. They account for about 28.5% of the country's population and they dwell mostly in the eastern part of the country particularly in Bafata and Gabu. It is estimated that there are between 38 and 40 million Fulani people in different countries across the African continent. In Guinea-Bissau, they are estimated to be about 517,560. The Fulani people of the country, like the fellow tribe in other parts of Africa, are traditionally herders, although some have settled or become sedentary farmers. The Fulani people speak the Fulani language and about 90% of them are Muslims. This ethnic group, like their counterparts all over Africa, follow a code of behavior known as Pulaku, which literally means the Fulani pathways. This moral code is passed on by each generation and it is so crucial to their identity. Major values of the Pulaku include Munyal, which speaks of patience, self-control, discipline, and prudence. Gache, representing modesty and respect for others. Hakile stands for wisdom, forethought, personal responsibility, and hospitality. And Sagata, signifying courage and hard work. Balanta, the Balanta ethnic group represents about 22.5% of Guinea-Bissau's population. They mainly reside in the southern part of the country, particularly in Katio and in Oyo. The members of the Balanta ethnic group are also present in the neighboring countries of the Gambia and Senegal. They are believed to have migrated to the present-day Guinea-Bissau in small groups around the 14th century. They can be further divided into four subgroups, Balanta Brasa, Balanta Ganja, Balanta Mane, and Balanta Kentohe. The Balanta Brasa are the largest of the subgroups. The Balanta people are renowned farmers growing rice, millet, peanuts, and cashew. They developed an intricate irrigation system which mixes salt and fresh water to maintain the soil nutrients and ensure good yields. They have a special farming tool called kebinde which is used to prepare the soil especially for rice cultivation. This tool is depicted in the 50 peso note of the nation's currency. Important decisions among the Balanta are taken by the Council of Elders. To be a part of this council, the person must undergo initiation during the Fanado ceremony. A man is chosen by his maternal uncle to participate in the Fanado initiation once he becomes a landowner and has a family. The ceremony takes place every four years and lasts for about two months in a place called the Sacred Woods. A major feature of the Fernando ceremony is circumcision rites. Kumbayala, ex-president of Guinea-Bissau, is from the Balanta ethnic group. Mandinka the Mandinka or Maninka ethnic group makes up 14.7% of the population of Guinea-Bissau and they are mainly found in the northern part of the country. The Mandinka ethnic group trace their ancestry to the famous Mali Empire which rose to prominence in the 13th century under the leadership of Sundiata Keita. Mandinka villages are composed of clans or family groups which all have the same name. Each clan has their unique emblem. 
Each village has a wall surrounding it and the houses are made of sun-dried bricks shaped either round or rectangle with thatch roof. While most Mandinka people are Muslims, they still practice their traditional religions alongside. Papel The Papel ethnic group accounts for 9.1% of the population of Guinea-Bissau. They can also be found in Senegal, particularly in Casamancha region as well as in Guinea. According to the 2012 estimates, there were about 150,000 people of Papel ethnicity in Guinea-Bissau. The people are mostly farmers and hunters. Their land is very suitable for rice cultivation. Most Papels are of the Christian faith, especially Catholicism, while others hold to their traditional beliefs of which ancestral worship is a key part. The names of Papel people are usually Portuguese because the Portuguese occupied the country from the late 15th century until 1973. The Papel tribe strongly resisted Portuguese occupation, organizing armed resistance that lasted over a century until they were finally subdued. Other ethnic groups in Guinea-Bissau include the Manjaku, Biafada, Bijago, and the Felupe. However, a few of Guinea-Bissau residents identify themselves as not belonging to any ethnic group. Such people make up about 2.2% of the population. Which have we missed out of these ethnic groups? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.